Next to face the dragons is Lisa Young from Kent. Lisa spent the best part of two decades working in the spray tan industry, and she's always on the lookout for new custom. I think Peter Jones would love one of my spray tans. We can create a nice sculpted body for him. I think he'd really enjoy it. Have a little drink, honey. It's too late now. Only if it's vodka. <laughs> I drink the jug. <laughs> We've learnt the pitch, learnt the numbers. It's been a massive build up to fill my palpitations. Um, but today, got up, feel confident, feel excited. Hello Dragons, my name is Lisa and I'm here to pitch for £60,000 for a 20% share in my company, Sunless Solutions. My love of the tanning industry began over 17 years ago. As a heavy sunbed user, I could see the damage that was being caused to my skin and I looked at alternative ways to tan. I discovered spray tan, I was instantly hooked. I worked with a chemist and I established a professional spray tan solution. Okay, I was saying a professional spray tan solution. Sorry. Um, I went on in 2008 to establish Sunless Solutions. I'd like to show you a demonstration of our product. Sorry, thank you. The tanning tent is designed to maintain the overspray within the, the tent. It comes with a mesh ceiling so that you can see the light coming through the tent. It also comes with an extractor, a flap at the back, and extending floor flap. I think we kind of get it, do we? We, we, get, we get that, OK, yeah. that's fine, thank you. Sorry. OK. Once you're finished, your client will step outside. Your tanning tent instantly deflates. Um. My company and my strap line, Spray It, Fake It, Love It, come with a registered trademark, along with my tanning tent, designed to change the way we spray tan in the future. The tanning tent has, be has been designed to, to be machine washable and tumble dryer safe. It's the first spray tan cubicle of its kind. It's current, it currently has a patent in the UK, USA and Europe. Designed to change the way we do. The self tan market itself is worth over £100 million. With your investment, we'd like to take our brand global and also the spray tan tent. Thank you for your time today. We've got some spray tan survival kits to give out to you. A range of spray tanning lotions and an inflatable tent in which to apply them are the dual offering from Lisa Young, who's seeking £60,000 for a 20% share in her company. I'd just like to say thank you to my girls now. Thank you. But her flustered delivery has left Tuka Suleiman unclear about precisely what's on the table. I'm a bit confused, because you, you, you were quite nervous. I mean, what are we investing in? You've got, you've got the lotions and you've got yes. the tent. Yes, we have. Right. As far as the lotions are concerned, yes. um, you've had it since 2008. Yes. So give us some figures for the last three years. OK, um, the last three years, in uh, 2012, we turned over £437,000. In the following year, we earned uh, 310000 yeah. And, and that last year? Uh, 235. Yeah. With a um, net of 69500 Yeah. And a profit of 4800 And that's mainly on the lotions? Uh, it's mainly on the, um, the lotions. The, the actual, we actually brought the first batch of tanning tents in in um, 2013. So how many have you sold of those up to date? 2,500. You've valued the business at £300,000. I have, yes. And, and, and how did you... Were you advised on that or you picked a figure? OK, no, I didn't pick a figure. I spoke to the accountants. Yep. Um, and I think the reason we have valued our, our company at £300,000 is, is mainly because of the niche of the tent. What's happening is, is that there is other tanning products out there, there is other tanning companies out there, but they all are looking to purchase this tent because they all can see the, the way forward and they can see it's the future. 
Can I ask you, with your other business, you, you had sales of 437,000, 310, 235. Is that because you were taking your eye off the ball with your main business? I would say that I was trying to develop this and I was using any capital I had to bring this product yeah. in. Okay. Because I believed in it. Um, yeah, I, I always, my heart always sinks when someone says, I want your money to go global, and you think, you haven't even done Warrington yet. You've got to conquer your own market before you can think about going global, okay. and then get your other business up to scratch, because that's not a bad business. No, uh, and I worked really hard. It was blood, sweat and tears so all the way you're, through. So you're, you're clearly, very, clearly very capable. But it is small, it is niche, so I'm out. Quicker than it takes one of her spray tans to dry, Lisa has lost her first dragon. And Peter Jones has concerns over the size of the business opportunity too. In terms of, of the tanning tent, I kind of get it, but it's such a tiny, tiny market because this is only going to be purchased by somebody that is in the trade. This isn't something for somebody at home. I've seen this happen so many times. Well, I say so many times. God, Tara's going to kill me. When I watch this, it's almost like rapid. Okay. And it's really quick. Goes into the shower, does stuff. The legs are done. Okay. It's like glove thing. And then comes out and looks like, you know, she's had 10 okay. days in Barbados. No problem. But I don't think but... you're claiming that's the market at all. No, I'm not claiming that's the no, market. No, no. She doesn't for one minute oh. think this is about domestic. This isn't for this Tara. Is for this mobile is for mobile salons. Anybody who's going to do this with their tan, you wouldn't be using that. You need two people to spray tan. Therefore, it's a, not a home market. Well, this is only a mobile sprayer, then. So it's mobile and it's for salons. But if, salons are not going to have that, because salons have their own facilities. I think, I think if you find that you'll walk into any salon and they've got a pop-up cubicle in it, it smells, it smells of, of, of spray tan, it's sticky, it's unhy unhygienic. Lisa has given the dragons chapter and verse on the merits of her tent. But so far, only Deborah Meaden appears to be on the same page. She's grasped the market, so will she grasp the opportunity to invest? Uh, I've got to be honest, I don't like, um, I don't like tanning products an awful lot. But um, the tent issue, I actually spent more time in a spray cubicle I than I was say. expecting to <laughs> when, that, yeah. when I did Strictly. Okay. Um, by the time I got to them and they had loads of people and they're all slightly skew with and, and whatever, so I, I actually think it's really neat. The tanning tents that we've got at the moment, the cubicles with the wire, have had their day. They're pennies to buy on the internet, but they also bend and break and they're un unhygienic. Now, there is the bigger tanning companies out there. They all want to buy that painting off of me. I'm amazed you've got a patent on it because it's actually based up a blow, a blow up Bouncy Castle without the Bouncy Castle bit at the bottom of it. I've spent quite a bit of money. I've worked with the, my IP lawyer to make sure that when it, it's for the purposes of spray tan, it can't be copied. It could, they could do it square, round, circular. It, it can't happen. So that's the interesting bit to me. Right now, I want to understand that conversation or those conversations about patents because that's where the value lies as far as I'm concerned. OK, no problem. Um, obviously, we had quite a few meetings with the companies. For me, at the time, spending three years developing something, I probably overvalued that at that point. What did you value it at? I asked for £500,000 to take my patent away from me and work with it. And did they counter-offer? OK, um, they came back and they were offering something like £100,000. So, for me, it would be better to roll the dice and take a chance on it. However, to take it forward, it does need investment. OK, I'm going to tell you where I am. Um, I'm not going to criticise that. I think that's a really good idea. OK. I think you are loopy to have stopped conversations. What I would have done if I were you is I wouldn't have sold the patent. I would have said you pay me an upfront fee for the exclusive rights to it and license it. But actually, what you have told me is, as far as I'm concerned, the only thing that is of value in this company is that patent. It, it, and it you've is. just told me what it's worth, and it ain't the £300,000 you're asking for. There isn't enough value in it, I'm really sorry, but I'm out. Lisa has significantly overvalued her patent. The result? 
Deborah Meaden joins Nick Jenkins in declining the deal. Have an initially skeptical Peter Jones or Tuka Suleiman heard anything to change their minds? Lisa, I can't get my head around the valuation. You're not making any money. Um, so, so on that basis, I'm out. Lisa, I don't see that this is a business to really invest in and make a lot of money. It's not for me, so I'm out. It's not looking good for the beauty entrepreneur. Four dragons have now turned down her tanning tent. Lisa has hardly been sprayed with offers, but Sarah Willingham has been unusually quiet. Is she intent on striking a deal? I love that tent. The issue is you've made it such a good product that it's going to be machine washable and go in the tumble dryer. And I reckon that's going to last everybody ages. And I think there's not enough people that are going to be buying it to actually make that a better route to market than the one that Deborah was talking about. Um, good luck with everything, but I'm afraid I'm not investing, so I'm out. OK, thank you. So a deflated Lisa leaves the den with nothing. Damn it. Lisa, what do you do that for? Oh. Her spray tanning business may guarantee a healthy bronze, but as far as a deal with the dragons is concerned, she sadly failed to strike gold. When I walked in and realised I'd messed up my pitch so much, I kind of felt a little bit gutted from that point forward, to be fair. I think that if I could do it again, I'd probably walk in a lot different and probably fight for what I wanted, because it's a brilliant product, absolutely brilliant product.